the restaurant. And welcome to the team. I'm sure you've spent some time on this side of the counter. It's easy to be a customer. But now you're seeing McDonald's from the other side of the counter. And things will start to move fast, and you wonder whether you're doing everything right. Believe me, I've been there. You're not alone. That's the key. You're not alone. Your coworkers will be helping you out. You'll see. And the world behind the counter will become easier. And meeting customers can be fun. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, two large coffees, black and a sun time. That's it. Hi, Lorraine. It's me. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Okay, nice. When I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is fall out of bed and jump into my car, and I head over to McDonald's for my cup of coffee and my morning paper. If Lorraine's not here, we want to know where Lorraine is at. Right. <laughs> and believe me, the next time we see Lorraine, we'll we be like, Lorraine, her. where you been? The people at McDonald's are like my friends. I mean, there, there's a joke, There's we spend time, how's your husband, how's your wife, how's the kids? Oh, I've been on vacation. You know you have to get our permission to go on vacation. And she don't like us to take vacations either. Where you been? Hey, haven't seen you around in a while. What's been up to? I got up late. The whole restaurant knows I'm there. I get the whole restaurant knows I'm there. We know the order before they even order it and have it sitting out ready for them. So we just have it all ready for them, hot, fast. If you receive good service, you remember it. If you receive bad service, you remember it even more. So when I'm getting good service, it's a pleasant experience, and you end the day up with a smile. I love dealing with the customer, and it make me, you know, I can come here sometimes and be real frustrated. When I get there with the customer, it make me feel real good. Satisfying the customer makes me feel real good. It makes me feel that I know I did my job right and that I got everything for them completely satisfied, knowing that I had a smile on my face, showing them how good I can be. It makes me feel real, real proud. I had one, a couple of ladies that came in and said to me, you know, I was feeling pretty bad, but after I got through talking to you, I feel better now. <laughs> Hi. Do this. Hi. 195. Oh, thank you. The morning is, it sets the stage for the, the rest of the day. So when I go to McDonald's and I get my coffee and my paper and I'm receiving a smile and just a little bit of conversation. Hi. Hi. Hey, How are you? Thank you. And when I miss, I miss it. I really feel like I didn't, something's not right. The day hasn't started the way it's supposed to be. So I really go to start off my day and it's been like a ritual for the past three years. It's really amazing how people have such strong feelings for McDonald's, both customers and employees. It's something that the customer can depend on all around the world. And for us, it's a great feeling knowing we're working together and doing our best. I think that the customers come back because there's something more to this restaurant and maybe this corporation itself, but specifically this restaurant. They come back because there's more here than just a business. You keep coming back because they treat you real good, you know, you know with a nice smile, you know. It makes a big difference when you're treated with uh, a little respect, a little kindness, you know. And my regular customers, as it's like as soon as I see them coming, I, I can see them out the window, I got their coffee ready, and it's already on the tray, and they like that. Good morning. Como esta? Bien. Bien. Bien fría. Tienen frío? We get to know them, what they like, how they like their food, and everything they want. What it really comes down to is if they ask that you don't put any pickles on it, you don't put any pickles on it. That really makes them happy. In the morning, when uh, as soon as they open up the doors, it comes, here comes a group of older people, and then the older ladies, too. You have a lot of uh, senior citizens that sit right there and over there, and they're the nice people you want to meet. And they know each other, they know us and they get to meet the other people, the new people that starts here working. They, right away, they like them right away. They start talking to them, and the new people that starts here, they get real comfortable, too. My first week was kind of fun here. I mean, learning all these new things, 
uh, what it's like behind the McDonald's. I've been here before, I just never knew how it worked. My first week here was absolutely horrendous. I was completely unprepared for it. I was pretty overwhelmed at first when we got busy. Everybody was helping me. Every time I made a mistake, they were very patient with me and they would say to me, don't worry, uh, you'll get better. This is very easy. Just don't worry, just keep on. It's a good job working at McDonald's, actually. I mean, it's not too hard of a job. You learn quickly. You do a good job. It's perfect. And don't give up. Uh, people are patient. People are very patient with you in the beginning. As difficult as things were for me when I started, I found that um, within a very short period of time, I was doing very well, and I was asked by the store manager if I would like to begin, uh, begin the steps of being promoted. I thought about it, and I didn't want to do it. And time went by, and I began to reevaluate uh, what I wanted to do. And um, when the subject came up again, I decided that I would give it a second chance, and I did. And they really take it step by step with you so that at no point do you feel like you're being pushed into something at all. You can always go back or you can always stay where you are just long enough to, to really feel secure. When you work at a McDonald's, you're trying to be as fast as you can, and that's fun. When you work in grill, you begin to feel, especially when you work there for a long time, you begin to feel as though that's the most important station and, and as though every other station depends on you. And to a sense, that's true, but coming to work uh, at the front counter, you get the same feeling, and, and it's just as true. Everybody's like, we're doing our own work at certain times, but at other times, other people need help. Not only you're taking an order from, for, for you, the person that you have in front, but you also listen to the one right next to you or the one to the other side. I feel that there's really uh, nothing as important as teamwork and as relying on other people and making sure that you can be relied on by other people. You really have to be um, very quick and very willing to serve the public. When I'm dealing with the customers, I gotta give them the best. That's the way that we would want to be treated when we go to a place like McDonald's. Uh, and so we should extend the same uh, niceties to uh, our customers. The service is good, but you know, what more can you ask for? Worth every penny of it. You know, before I started working here, I always wondered how they did this. Actually, I've learned quite a lot since I started working for McDonald's. The training is great, and it helps you prepare for the unexpected. I gotta tell Ronald McDonald if he wants to come, okay? Okay, let me be for him. Hi, Ronald. Are you coming to E.T.'s birthday? On April 29th, um, Randy was taking her first field trip, and they were going to a farm right in Lusby just a few minutes away, and I was pregnant at the time. Um, I wasn't feeling very well, so I stayed home, and I trusted her teacher to care for her during the field trip. After the farm, everybody went to McDonald's to eat, and they went to the Leonardtown McDonald's because it has the largest play area. I did notice one little girl uh, sitting at a table, and she was singing. She was just by herself, and I, I looked around. There were a few other mothers here that day with their children. Uh, I didn't see that they were together at that point, but I had my eye on this little girl. So I showed up at the community center. All the children got off of the bus. The teacher got off the bus, looked at me. Then she boarded the bus again and talked to the other teacher. In the meantime, I'm getting worried. One of the other ladies, a customer, you know, she was concerned too. She had noticed the little girl, and both of us were, were at the point of, okay, she could have been on that bus. So I went out there to check on her, and I asked her, and she told me, she says, well, they left me. The bus left me, she said. When Mary brought the Randy back, I wanted Beverly, you know, she has a child of her own, and she's expecting herself. So, you know, she kind of, like, took over. I didn't want to leave her. When I noticed that, you know, she was left here, I didn't want to leave her. I didn't want to go back and start working in drive-through again or go back on front line. I wanted to stay with her until somebody 
until her mother got here or until the bus came back or whatever was going to happen. All kinds of horrible things were running through my mind. Um, I was sick to my stomach. Um, I'm speeding. I mean, I, I must have been running 80 miles an hour down the road. And she said, well, my mommy's having a baby. And I went, oh, dear, mommy's having a baby. But I can't even explain the emotions and the thoughts going through my mind, just terrible, terrible thoughts. So when I arrived and I saw, well, the lady just came to me immediately. Uh, the first thing, she's like, Tammy, you know, are you Randy's mom? I was like, yes, I am. And she said, the first thing she said, she said, Randy is safe. And she's like, I was going to come today. She's like, I was going to be with her. She's like, but the reason I didn't, because I'm eight months pregnant and I'm having contractions. And she says, I'm worried about you. Um, let's get you something to drink and let's get you sitting down and calm you down. I was like, well, how am I going to find out if this is really the mother or not? And then when they both saw each other, she started crying. And she's like, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Randy came running to me when she saw me. And she was like, oh, mommy. There you are. And then she's like, OK, I'm going to go play with the McDonald's ladies. Bye. <laughs> we knew that woman, when she walked in that door, was that child's mother. There was just, I mean, this, it, was, it was like you could see the, the connection, you know. And, and what a relief. What a relief. I mean, I think afterwards, we all just sat down and went, <gasps> These people uh, decided to think the problem out and do what's going to be in the best interest of our child rather than for them. The idea that this child is here and she's alone, if it's not, and we don't do something, and if we don't do the right thing, but, uh, but we did. Even though it was a tragedy to me and her dad, to her, she never even realized there was a problem because of the way that these people handled this situation. They really took care of us. They opened up their hearts. Um, it's not just like, how the world is today, how people usually act, uh, they just really went out of their way. Puppy. They really did. Puppy. You get the feeling that this isn't just a restaurant. It has its own personality, and no two days are alike. Granted, you will do some of the same tests over and over again. That's part of the job. But McDonald's is a learning experience that provides a lot of opportunities. Beautiful downtown Chicago. <laughs> now you're on Wacker Drive. Right down the street from the Sears Tower, across the street from the Chicago Lyric Opera House. It's very, very busy down here. You get people from all over Illinois that come to work in downtown Chicago. It happens to be one of the most frequent visited McDonald's because of the location. We've been coming here ever since the grand opening. It was a lot of exciting things going on for the whole week. Ronald McDonald was here, and he was here. The grand opening was great. It went well. I think everybody is happy. McDonald's is right here, right across the street from the jobs. We've been open now for like two months, and um, I was so excited, you know, just really excited because I never started at a new restaurant before. I used to work at McDonald's a long time ago when I was in high school, and it was one of my extracurricular jobs that I had, and I worked there. And I used to come in at 5 o'clock in the morning and make those sunrise biscuits. When I first started at McDonald's, I was very nervous. Sometimes I can tell if they're new, if being an employee, that they have to look at the value meals if they don't know them by heart. I would get scared. And like, when I get scared, it's like I mess up and everything. But they'd be like, just calm down, take it easy, everything will be OK. And so from that point on, I was fine. I got to do like the front and back. So it wasn't just I learned the front and just could never help out in the back. And that was one thing about working at McDonald's. You have to be an asset to help everybody back and front. I've been working for McDonald's for about four days. And the past four days have been pretty quick and amusing, you meet a lot of different people. D'Angelo is doing great. He, okay, he started work about three days ago. He was on the rest of it in two days because of, uh, Shirley had taught him. He taught him very well. Well, it's like teamwork. It's like you, you all move together. You have to start from somewhere. McDonald's is an excellent place to start. As long as you put your mind to it, you should be able to do anything. And working here, hopefully I can become something like a 
um, maybe a manager one day or a crew trainer. I became team leader, but I mean, I was a crew leader. So I mean, it was like an advancement thing. I mean, I really love working at McDonald's. When the rush hour come, it's you completely busy. It's like you're, you're in a zone, you're completely working. Or you look around and look at the clock, you, oh man, a few hours have passed up. I have good time working with my customers, but um, I have a lot of fun with my, my uh, what you call them, co-workers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with my co-workers, because they make the day go fast. It's cool to see different faces. That's what I like really about the job, different faces. Tell everybody, you know, how you know, okay, welcome to McDonald's. Hope you enjoy your meal. You know, come back again. And they smile when they leave. I would have to say that McDonald's working there gave me that person-to-person -person customer relation. And that's the same thing I do now with my job. I mean, I deal with customers all the time. And I mean, I, even though I'm over the phone, I remember when I used to do it face-to-face. -face. Actually, my fiance worked at a McDonald's. <laughs> he worked at one for quite a while. He knows how to cook, finally. <laughs> He cooks and he cleans, so I guess you can basically say he's learned a lot. <laughs> you know, you never know what could happen. All you just gotta do is try to succeed. Try to be the best you can be. And that's it. My shift is up. Gotta go. And don't worry, you're gonna do just fine. McDonald's is a great place to work. See you around. <laughs>